Spartan Nation. SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first. Then you act. Stats in the fourth quarter, we lost most games in the fourth quarter. I think the stats is like 110, like 36, and just giving up points. And then um, that's really been emphasis finishing and uh, just clutch situations. So red zone, uh, two minute situations, and things of that nature. Just knowing the situation down the distance. Is this spring kind of different for you just because you did miss so much of a junk of last year? I mean, does it feel like I'm as <clears throat> you're fresher or anything like that, I guess? Uh, no, not really. I f it feels the same as any other spring, just coming out here and getting better. You know, just trying to get the younger guys on with everybody else because you're really only as good as, you know, your depth is. Because, you know, as you see last year, it's a bunch of injuries, so you have to have everybody prepared. Um, what's it been? Have you been talking to Justin as uh, much as he's been going through this process? I know Mel Kuyper today said he might be a could be even be a first round guy. I don't know if you've been in touch with him at all. And just what's it been like to see him go on and do his thing now? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, sent that tweet out to, uh, today to him because he didn't see it yet. So I sent the tweet to him and he was like, you know, uh, happy about it and everything else. And everybody was happy about it because we have a big group chat of us. And so everybody was happy about it. And to see Kari as well being a second, third round guy, Mel Kuyper was predicting. And it's, it's great to see because, you know, those guys I played, learned under. And so it's been real nice. And then just I talked to him on pro day, too, a little bit, just how he felt about everything and just what he went through and everything like that. He's pretty happy with his decision, obviously. And um, say so I could be more proud of him. Now we're going to tease you a little bit because we know Coach D likes to help the offense a little bit, <laughs> and you and they win some scrimmages like last year that probably they didn't really win. So let, maybe a couple years ago. So be honest. Did they really beat you? Tell the truth. You don't have to give details, but I know they don't want you giving details. But tell the truth. Did they really beat you, or is that a D'Antonio helped win? Yeah. I, I can say, yeah, they beat us. It's just certain situations, it's just we we had to win, and we didn't do that. Uh, we could have leveraged the ball a little better. And uh, he put us in certain situations, like, you know, you think, and uh, we just had to win those. That's basically what it is. Quick question for you. You are you're a star, and your injury obviously hurt, but you're a guy that's clearly got NFL written all over him. I'm curious for you, is it fun going out there knowing all eyes are on me now? The expectations are here. Guys know I'm an NFL player. I mean, do you like that? Uh, so I go out there same as any other day, even if I was a first year freshman or fifth year senior, I'm going to take it any way as possible. So just going out there, working hard each and every day, that's really all I can do. Thank you.